When President Trump won Michigan by fewer than 11,000 votes in 2016, it marked the first win in three decades by a Republican presidential candidate. The state is among Democrats' top targets in 2020 and the Democratic National Committee's choice for this next round of candidate debates. They have come to Detroit this week on a mission. See you, man. Good meeting you. Ten candidates tonight and ten more tomorrow night, all wanting a boost out of this second set of Democratic presidential debates. Two progressive stalwarts are standing center stage tonight, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders and Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. On either side of them are two of the field's youngest candidates, Mayor Pete Buttigieg of South Bend, Indiana, and former Texas Congressman Beto O'Rourke. Farther out on the wings are many of the field's more moderate candidates, Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar and Ohio Congressman Tim Ryan, plus former Colorado Governor John Hickenlooper and former Maryland Congressman John Delaney. And at each end, author Marianne Williamson and Montana Governor Steve Bullock, another moderate who missed out on the previous debates. While those 10 hopefuls are on stage, some of the other candidates are looking to catch attention on other fronts. A super PAC backing Washington Governor Jay Inslee, who's debating Wednesday, bought airtime for a TV ad criticizing the five candidates topping national opinion polls. Democrats aren't making climate change the number one issue. Meanwhile, a political group founded by billionaire philanthropist Tom Steyer, who did not qualify for the debate stage, is out with an ad whose focus is special counsel Robert Mueller, President Trump, and impeachment. You believe that you could charge the president of the United States with obstruction of justice after he left office? Yes. That ad is part of a push by candidates to highlight specific issues ahead of this week's debates. How you doing? California Senator Kamala Harris was in Detroit yesterday, defending the health care plan she rolled out ahead of her Wednesday debate. My Medicare for All plan will allow private insurers to be a part of our plan if they play by, play by the rules. But well, let's be clear about the rules. The rules are that they're not going to get to do business as usual. They're not gonna but some of her business. rivals pounced immediately. Senator Sanders, who's in tonight's debate, told CNN this in a phone interview. I like uh, Kamala. Uh, she is a friend of mine, uh, but her plan is not Medicare for all. A campaign spokeswoman for former Vice President Joe Biden also criticized the Harris approach, saying it pushes the extremely challenging implementation of this plan 10 years into the future. Biden and Harris will meet again at Wednesday's debate. He has made his own contribution to the current rush of policy rollouts, a criminal justice plan he announced last week. I think we should shift the whole focus from what we're doing in terms of incarceration to rehabilitation. But Biden's announcement drew criticism from another rival he'll debate on Wednesday, New Jersey Senator Cory Booker, who has targeted Biden's history on these issues. I'm disappointed that it's taken Joe Biden years and years until he was running for president to actually say that he made a mistake. The new trade proposals from Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren are among the other policy ideas unveiled by the 2020 candidates over the past week and a half. Of the other debaters tonight, Klobuchar and O'Rourke rolled out plans on housing and K-12 education, respectively. Delaney wants to build a program around a mandatory year of service for young Americans. And Williamson proposes a cabinet-level agency to focus on policies affecting children. New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, who debates tomorrow, has released her own sweeping plan to combat climate change. For many of these Democrats, this week's debates may truly be make or break. They have to reach a higher threshold in public polling and donations to qualify for the debates this fall.